Dr. Jaffe, what is the best way to test for mold? That's a simple question with a complicated answer. Are you talking about immunotoxicity that mold provokes immune reactions that can be measured by our lymphocyte response assay? Our LRA includes a panel of the most common molds to which people are hypersensitive. If you're very sensitive, if your immune system recognizes the mold as a cause of burden, you have to be very careful with the humidity in your home. You have to be very careful to not have mold build up in super insulated buildings behind the walls. Yes, you can measure mold in the environment. You can bring in a machine that passes a certain amount of air through the machine and traps any mold spores or particles that are in the air. That's different than immune reaction. So very important, first and foremost, to test for immune reactions to molds using the LRA test. Then make sure that your humidity is 35 to 40%. It's called RH, relative humidity. You can have a device in your environment that will control humidity. If you live in a warm, humid climate, you need to pull out of the air moisture. Get a dehumidifier. Get a good dehumidifier that will Stop working when it gets down to 40 or so percent. So there's immune reactions to mold that are very important and require an LRA assay to detect. And then there are particles and spores that are put into the air that are harmful in their own way, but are challenging to measure. So I suggest you keep a healthy environment, including growing plants that improve the air quality. I suggest you get a HEPA or an OPA or an electrostatic filter so that whatever particles are in the air, dander from you or your pets and possible mold spores can be eliminated. So it depends where you live. It depends how you live. It depends on whether you're in a new super insulated building. It turns out that the plumbing in most new buildings allows a little bit of moisture to get behind the wall. And that allows mold to grow. Don't do that. So mold is a very complicated subject. The most important thing is to understand the lymphocyte response assay reactions to mold, and then to make sure that you have a healthy humidity in your environment, that you're cleaning the air and using plants to help clean the air. Just off to my left is a ficus that's 40 years old. It has survived all this time. I enjoy the fact that I live in a healthy environment. It's a choice. If you default, if you let the environment by, be set by others, you might well be harmed. So learn a little bit about your environment. Make use of your environment so that you can thrive in the 21st century, so that you can use nature's pharmacy and nature's alkaline way to remove mold and to overcome hypersensitivity, immune reactions to mold.